Why don't we are quickly taking over the world and our hearts, but you won't believe some of their secrets. Stay tuned to find out what these boys look for in their perfect girl. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to never miss another video, and be sure to check out our community section for even more fun. Now let's check out Why Don't We Boys secrets. High School Musical In an interview with Seventeen Magazine, Why Don't We Boys were asked who is most likely to know all the lyrics to High School Musical. Although the question was clearly meant to be an embarrassing one, we're just really not sure why this is so embarrassing. But hey, it's a secret, so we're adding it to our video because it's so adorable. First, the boys are trying to figure out which member would sing the lyrics most often. But what happens next is absolutely fantastic. The boys basically end up singing random lyrics from all three movies, and honestly, it's the best thing you've ever seen. Jonah said, we're all in this together. Which, of course, relates to one of the best high school musical songs ever. The band members then joined in with their own favorite HSM songs. You gotta work, work, work this out. They sang pretty much all of our faves, except they sounded way better than we ever will. Needless to say, this was far from embarrassing, but it was just one of those adorable moments that makes the boys so cute. Come on, anyone who knows any High School Musical lyrics is instantly 10 times cooler. And why don't we boys are definitely cool. The most selfies. We all have that friend that just won't stop taking selfies. Seriously, what did this world do before selfies came along? Come to think of it, selfies were always a thing, weren't they? We just made them better with filters. Okay, back to the point. We all know why Don't We Boys are extremely good looking, so naturally, their selfies are nothing but perfection. Don't believe us? Just check out one of their Instagrams. The boys rarely have a bad selfie day, and you can clearly see that from their feed. But the person that takes the most selfies is, in the band's opinion, Zach. They even said he'll take several selfies before finally deciding on one to post on his Insta. And if you look at his Insta, you'll see that his selfie game is definitely on point. Although he's been pointed out by other band members, it looks like the entire band is pretty much nailing the whole selfie game. Whether it's selfies with their fans, by themselves, or just with the band, these boys really do know how to take good pictures. Are we jealous? Uh, just a little bit. But not as jealous as we are at the fact that these boys met their man crush. Crush on Ed Sheeran. Find someone that talks about you the way why don't we boys talk about Ed Sheeran. Seriously, these boys are really, really inspired by this iconic musician. We can't really blame them. Ed Sheeran walks up out of nowhere and he's like, hello lads, how are you? Ed Sheeran is pretty awesome. They seem to always love talking about their crush for Ed, and they actually managed to meet him several times. But it's not just a crush. The boys actually admitted to emulating his performance techniques too. He's a unanimous admiration by every single Why Don't We member, and we have a feeling these boys have an Ed Sheeran shrine somewhere on their tour bus. Avery admitted that Ed was his inspiration for even picking up a guitar and start going for it. They also gave a lot of credit to Ed when it comes to their songwriting standpoint, and really just have a great work ethic. Isn't this just the most inspiring thing ever? Wait, it gets better. The boys, of course, also met Ed backstage at one of iHeartMedia's Jingle Ball events. The best part was, Ed ran into them like he'd already know who they were. Daniel said that he acted really cool and grounded, giving you a feeling you weren't even talking to one of the biggest singers on the planet. How cute. Bandana Collection Every Why Don't We member has a unique personality, but people notice something about Zach. He loves his bandanas. In fact, the boys revealed that Zach has a huge bandana collection. This reminds us of the time Camila Cabello was still in Fifth Harmony, and she was rocking all those hair bows. She definitely gave Jojo Siwa a run for her money. And just like Camila, Zach has a hair accessory of his own. Sure, it's not as cute as a bow, but it definitely makes him a million times cooler. You can actually get a bandana on Why Don't We's official merch website, which is pretty awesome. If you use Why Don't We's official merch hashtag, they will also feature you on their website wearing a bandana. It's unclear just how many bandanas Zach actually owns, but we can just imagine him trying to pick out every single bandana for their world tour. He also does a lot of bragging on how his bandanas are way cooler than anyone else's. Oh, Zach, never grow out of your bandanas, please. Obsessed with Chipotle. Every singer seems to have a food obsession. John Lennon had a real obsession with Jaffa cakes during his Beatle years. Selena Gomez admitted to eating popcorn with pickles and drinking the pickle juice from the jar. Elvis Presley once ate a sandwich with 40,000 calories. The list goes on and on, and yep, why don't we boys are pretty much obsessed with Chipotle. It's the band's go-to restaurant, and they admitted there's nothing better than a good old Chipotle. They frequently mention it whenever they answer any questions regarding their favorite food, so the love seems to be pretty real. 
real. Chipotle Twitter account even responded to Daniel, who said he was on his way to the restaurant for the fifth time this week. In an adorable exchange, the restaurant replied back, asking, why don't we all go? Why don't we band account replied back that they would walk a million miles to find their way to Chipotle. Ed Sheeran, watch out! These boys are having a real romance with an actual restaurant. We're totally here for this adorable exchange. The only downside is we're really craving Chipotle right now. Hidden Talents It seems that every superstar has a couple of hidden talents up their sleeves. Of course, Why Don't We Boys are no different. We absolutely love it when they sing, but the boys also admitted they can do a ton of other things. Some of them might be embarrassing, but a talent is a talent, so we won't really judge. For example, Jonah admitted that he's extremely skilled at knitting and crocheting, which is pretty amazing. We can totally see him doing that when he's bored on the tour bus. But he's not the only one with an amazing talent. Daniel, for example, is really skilled at Chinese yo-yo. That also comes in handy when you're fighting boredom, doesn't it? But the one that seems to have the most skills is definitely Jack. He's one of those people that will do something until they're really good at it. And because of that, Jack can skateboard, snowboard, play basketball, guitar, play piano, and more. He's definitely a man of many talents, and we're sure that will come in handy. But not going to lie, we kind of want Jonah to knit us something. Wouldn't that be a good merch idea? A personally knitted present from Jonah? Sign us up! We'd love to get one. Never burped. In one of their interviews, Zach revealed that he's never been able to burp, like ever. That's important. Other band members have pointed out this is a fun fact he uses when he can't think of anything else to say. In another interview, he shared another embarrassing secret. He's the person that will fart and then walk away, pretending like nothing happened. Come on, Zach. You can do better than that. Other band members even mocked him and told him how rude that is. It's definitely not a nice feeling to smell that, especially when it comes from a superstar. Can you imagine? Come to think of it, it would actually be hilarious to see Zach do that in real life. But the never burped fact finally came to an end in August 2018. Why Don't We's official Twitter account actually announced that Zach has finally learned how to burp and actually burped for the first time in his life. Zach confirmed that it indeed happened for the first time in 17 years. We're not sure that's an accomplishment someone should ever admit to, but let's be honest, it's pretty funny. The Fan Incident We all know how obsessed girls get when it comes to boy bands. We don't blame them. Boy bands are just so dreamy, and there's just something about hearing them sing that makes our hearts melt. Just like One Direction, why don't we have some pretty intense fans? Or stands, as Twitter would call them. They've yet to admit to any crazy fan stories, but we're sure that will happen someday. Although Corbin shared a really cute story with Buzz Feed news. This little fan did exactly what we'd all do if we ever met our idol. One little girl apparently clung onto Corbin's leg, and she didn't want to let go no matter what. How adorable is that? Her mom actually had to come over and practically pull her off. So cute. Why don't we boys still love their fans, but even superstars deserve to have privacy and some personal space? Although to be completely honest, that probably looks like it was the cutest thing ever. Just imagine having a little girl not willing to let you go. After or during a meet and greet. Thank goodness her mom did the right thing and pulled her away. Hopefully there weren't any tantrums involved. Foodie. Here's another thing you should know about Corbin. He has a real food obsession. We're not just talking about Chipotle, we're talking about pretty much everything. Corbin revealed his love for Italian food and said that he loves dishes like penne alla vodka, which is a dish made of penne and, of course, vodka. It might sound strange, but it's actually really lovely. He admitted he also loves pizza, and his favorite toppings include pepperoni and sausage. Honestly, we pretty much agree with all of his food choices so far. If you want more examples of Corbin loving food, just check out his Insta photos from the World Tour. Corbin even shares his love for food through relatable tweets, like this one, which pretty much says, who needs a girlfriend when you can have chips instead? Of course, this should be taken with a sense of humor, but Corbin's love for food can't be denied. By the looks of it, Corbin doesn't really follow a specific diet, so he really is a man after our own hearts. So if you ever go on a date with Corbin, just take him to an Italian restaurant. He'll love it. Looking for in a girl. But the questions why don't we boys get asked the most revolve around girls. It makes sense, right? After all, most of their songs revolve around girls too. We're pretty sure girls are their band's biggest fan base. The boys have pretty much been open about their relationships with fans and even admitted they wouldn't mind dating a fan. They also revealed plenty of information on what they look for in a girl. And as cliche as it seems, most of them just want a cool girl with a nice personality. After all, that's really what matters the most, doesn't it? 
Zach, of course, in his goofy way said that the girl also has to smell good, which made his band members laugh. The truth is, you just have to be yourself and it's all good with these boys. They even admitted that they wouldn't mind dating a fan from Texas, and that Jack is the one that tends to fall in love immediately after the first date. These boys really do have a big heart, and it's only a matter of time before they find someone that steals it forever and ever. Of course, some of them already have found someone, but that's a topic for another video. Who's your favorite Why Don't We member? Come share in the comments below. And that's it for our video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.